What is going on everybody? Tech Enthusiast here and in this video I'm going to show you how to play some PC games on your Android device using an app called Winlater which is a Windows emulator for Android and you can get a good few apps and games working and the best thing is that it is completely free. So the first thing you want to do is copy your game from your Windows machine. So I have it on my laptop and it's in the C drive and in a folder called games. And here you can see Ultimate Marvel vs Capcom 3. So this is essentially the folder that I want to transfer to my Android device. Now if I go into the folder, you can see the installed files here. So this is what it should look like if you're actually going to be using this game. So I'm just going to back out and then copy this folder to the download folder on your Android device. Don't put it in the root folder or any other subfolders. Make sure it is in the download folder and that's where WinLater will find it. Now maybe you can install some games with WinLater. I did try it with another game, it didn't work. So I'm just going to use this method as it seems to be the best way to do it. Okay, so firstly we're going to head over to the GitHub page. I will leave a link in the description. Now if we scroll down, we can see the installation process. It is fairly straightforward, but I will show you how to do it in the video. Now if we scroll down again, you can see some useful tips if some games don't work. So you can try these methods. It might work, it might not, but it is worth trying. Alright, so we're just going to go up to the uh, download link. So we're going to click on releases. And here we can see the several uh, builds that are already available. So the latest one is probably the development method. I'm just going to go with the stable version, which is 5.0. So under assets, tap the APK link and that should start downloading. Shouldn't take too long. It's just under 84 megabytes. So once that is finished, tap on open and then install and then open. Uh, tap on allow and then tap on OK for it to install the OBB image. So this could take a minute or so. So what I'm going to do is just speed up the video to the end of the installation. Once that finishes, it's going to install the OBB image. It should only take a few seconds. Okay, so next we're going to tap on the icon on the top left hand corner and then go to settings. Once there, we're going to change the Box86 version to new and do the same for Box64. Then we're going to scroll down to turnip version and change that to version 24 and then tap on the check mark icon. And then we're going to tap on the plus icon and here we need to change a few settings. So for the name, I've got it as container one, which is default. You can name it anything you want. For example, the name of the game, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to skip it and go to screen resolution and I'm going to be using 1280 by 720. Then we're going to go to DX wrapper and change that to DXVK 2.2. And then we're going to scroll down a little. And here I'm going to enable the show FPS and disable CPU 1, 2, 3, and basically have 4, 5, 6, and 7 enabled. And if we scroll down, there shouldn't be anything that needs to be changed here. So next we're going to go to DX components and then change direct music to native and change na to native for the uh, remaining two. Environmental variables, don't need to do anything there. Drives, well here you can see this is where WinData is pointing to. You can possibly change it, but again for the sake of the video, I'm going to leave it pointing to the download folder. And then we have advanced. So here, the only thing we're going to change is stop services on startup and then tap on the check mark. And it's going to create the container and then we're going to tap on the three dots and then click on run which should boot us into the emulated windows. So once here we're going to touch the screen to use it as a mouse and then go to D drive and double tap that and then go into the Ultimate Marvel vs Capcom 3 folder 
and to launch the game we just basically need to double tap the exe file but before that i'm just going to show you a few more things so swipe the screen to the left to bring up this menu then go to input controls now where it says disabled tap on that so we've got two options here i want to select virtual gamepad first and i'll show you what the on-screen controls look like so let me just minimize that and basically this is what the on-screen controls look like so we've got two analog sticks as well as all the face buttons d-pad etc and uh, let me just show you the other setting so we're going to go back to input controls and this time select rts basically this is the uh, keyboard and mouse okay so before i launch the game i'm just going to select it and then tap on mrb which is basically mouse right button and then scroll down to create shortcut tap on that and then swipe the menu out again and then exit we're going to tap on the icon on the top left hand corner and then select shortcuts and the game shortcut is already here and if you want you can remove it by pressing the three dot icon there and basically you just need to tap it and the game will launch it is as straightforward as that all right so we've got a window pop up now so the game is starting to load up so we just need to wait a few seconds and that's it the game has fully loaded up so we'll just go through the uh, intro screen and then tap on any button to go into the game and just create a save file here okay so one thing i notice is that for this game in particular the built-in controls from our odin 2 pro work perfectly i don't need to use the on-screen controls as you can see here so this should also be the same for if you're using a bluetooth control pad all right we're going to go into options then pc settings then under resolution i'm going to select 1280 by 720 to match the setting i did in win later then under display select full screen and here it is the game is now in full screen so we're gonna back out and just play a quick game so under offline mode we're gonna select arcade and just see how the game runs So there you have it guys, this is basically how you use WinLater to run some PC games on your Android device. Now, I just want to quickly mention I'm running this on the Odin 2 Pro which has a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 CPU. So if you've got anything lower than that then your mileage might differ. So you might need to change the screen resolution if you're not getting full speed. So yeah, that does it for this video. If you have found it useful, give it a thumbs up. If you are new here then please do subscribe as I have more videos coming up so make sure you hit that bell icon so you get notified as soon as I release my videos. Thanks for watching and I will catch up with you in the next video.